You've undoubtedly heard the phrase, birds of a feather flock together. This particular swarm of flamingos lives in the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania, Africa. Why do they gather in such large colonies? Safety and protection. Of course, once they're safe and protected, flamingos like these are free to devote their time to things like preening, which is using their bills to distribute oil from a gland at the base of their tail to their feathers for waterproofing. Another big reason that flamingos swarm like this is the need to display themselves for the purposes of breeding. Who knows what kind of romantic scenarios are playing out here as we watch them strut around? It's kind of like a singles bar, except outside, in natural light, uh, and no alcohol. Speaking of swarms, here's a giant flock of Kilias, also known as the East African weaver bird. It's not hard to see why these birds are often mistaken for locusts. They swarm in groups that have numbered over a million. These particular Kilias are in the Okavango in Africa. They're less than five inches long and weigh just about half an ounce. But as a swarm, they can have an incredible impact on local farmers. A swarm can destroy up to 60 tons of grain in a single day. Our final swarm is this gathering of butterflies in the Oyamel fir forests of El Rosario, Mexico. Millions of butterflies are fluttering together. And the only thing more astonishing than the epic size of the swarm is the journey these monarchs took to get here. First, consider the distance. These delicate creatures fluttered 2,000 miles from the United States to get here. Now, ponder this astonishing fact. They fly here by pure instinct. Only every fourth or fifth generation of butterfly makes this colossal odyssey. These are probably the great, great, great grandkids of the last generation of monarchs who flew down here to bond with their buds. So how do they know to make this migration? Scientists consider this one of nature's greatest mysteries.